Before we start talking about ordered samples and how to count them, let's do an example. How many six-digit phone pins are possible? Remember, that's the six-digit number you put into your lock screen to unlock your phone. Our universe, or sample space, is the set 0, 1, 2, etc., 9. And we want to choose six elements. There are 10 elements to choose from. All right, so I have my first element, second element, third element, fourth element, fifth element, and sixth element. All right, well, how many choices do I have for the first digit of my password? I've got 10 choices because I can choose any of the characters in Omega, any of the digits 0 through 9. I also have 10 options for my second digit because generally when we have passwords or pins, we can use the same digit over and over again. We're not you know, supposed to, but we can. We also have 10 options for the third digit, the fourth digit, the fifth digit, and the sixth digit. And remember from the last video that the multiplication principle says that when we must choose a first digit and a second digit and a third digit and so on, multiplication is the correct way to combine those numbers. Therefore, the total number of possible pins is 10 to the sixth power. Before we keep going, let's make a couple of observations. First observation, the order of the sample matters. For example, the password uh, 239184 is not the same as the password uh, 482319. And the other observation is that elements may be repeated. We may have, for example, the password 111111. Put a question mark next to that because it is a terrible password. That leads us to the idea of an ordered sample with replacement. These are also called finite sequences and words from the alphabet omega. When the size of the universe is n and the size of the sample is r, there are n to the r such sequences, samples, or words. We're going to use bit strings as helpful examples for more complicated counting structures. So a bit string is a finite sequence in the set 0, 1. How many bit strings of length n are there? So we have to be a little careful here. This is not the same n as it was in the definition. n this time is the size of the sample. The size of the underlying set is 2, so that means there are going to be 2 to the n bit strings of length n. Just to check, there are 2 to the 3 bit strings of length 3. There's 8 of them. They are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1.